Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I am currently in Folly Beach, South Carolina, and I've never been here before. We actually just got in last night around midnight, and so I woke up to like the most beautiful view. It is seriously so pretty here. I'm so excited to like explore the island. Um, I think we might be going into Charleston later in the week. I think I'm here until like next Thursday or next Wednesday or something like that and then we head home back to Austin. It is currently Friday. I'm not working today because I don't usually work Fridays, but Ryan has to work. So we're just gonna kind of like work around his schedule and uh, the calls he has to do. We're actually here with Ryan's brother's girlfriend's family. So we're staying at their house and it is seriously like house goals. Like it is beautiful and I'll try to show you guys more of the house if um, they're cool with it but my room is like so stunning it's like the perfect little beach room it is just goals it's funny because I literally just posted an Instagram story and somebody was like what is the Airbnb link because I want to stay there and I was like I wish I could give it to you because this is so nice I just wanted to quickly start off the vlog I think they are all up on like the patio deck working so I'm gonna go join them do a little bit of editing while I can and today is supposed to be one of like the two only sunny days while we're here hopefully it clears up and hopefully there's more but we're definitely gonna try to take advantage of the weather and go swimming and the pool and the beach so I came up and Ryan's currently working and I'll try to show you guys outside I literally just thought I was bleeding, but I ate hot Cheetos last night. <laughs> They're staining my nails. So sad. But I got my nails done for the first time in so long. Me and Ryan tried to take these drone shots because I thought they would look really cool. Filming a swimsuit try on haul, so I thought it'd be a cool thumbnail too. But I literally look so weird. <laughs> like in this one, my hair is just so everywhere. <laughs> and then... Uh, this one, I mean, that's not horrible, but I feel like it's weird that my um, foot is kind of tucked like that. And I don't know, I feel like I was just trying to like, oh, like, that's not that bad. But, like, I feel like far is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, I really tried. Update, I think I'm just going to go with this one, but I wanted to show you guys a little trick. If you're unable or you just don't have the time to like clean your surrounding spaces, this is the before and this is the after. So basically... You use this tool up here. This is in Lightroom, by the way. You use this tool and you kind of just like go wherever you want it to be cleaned up and it will just clean it up for you. It's kind of cool. And it helps a lot when you have like a pretty dirty photo like this and you want it to be like super clean. If you are doing super high aerial shots and like you can't, you know, get something out of the picture, this is a great tool to use because you can also like hold and draw on it and then it will just like kind of fill it in. Say hi! Say hi! <laughs> just came out to feel the water and it feels so good. I'm like so excited to swim later. It's like not cold at all. Bath water, perfect. What do you think? So nice. It's beach time. What are we doing? Pool or beach? Uh, I was gonna do the pool, but you can do beach for a little bit if you want. Okay. Cause it feels so good at the beach. Like the water is bath water. Well, I don't know. It's probably a different story when you put <laughs> your whole body in. Yeah. But it felt so freaking good. 
but the pool also feels really good. Usually I don't wear too much jewelry in the pool, like this is not my usual thing, but I kind of want an Instagram, so I'm kind of doing it for the gram, but also like I have not taken all the school jewelry off in forever, like I feel like since I put it on. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a gold jewelry video because I just got like a lot of very awesome pieces. I'm trying to like invest into more gold filled jewelry. So I got all my bracelets, my necklaces, oh, my rings, I forgot about that. And then these sunglasses are from Amazon and then this hat is from Lack of Color and I'm obsessed with it. I'm finally getting to like actually wear it out. So, and for its purpose. up a cornhole match and I suck at cornhole like I haven't really played because I've always been just too embarrassed to play in front of other people but they made me play and I'm just trying to get better so hopefully at the end of this vacation I'll be a pro but we'll see about that I'm gonna go hop in the shower because I'm all sweaty now and I guess we'll find out what we're doing for dinner I just got out of the shower I put minimal makeup on because I don't really know what we're doing but you know I kind of want to look presentable and I was very indecisive about my outfit, but I'm wearing something super basic, just like a tank top and these cute shorts. Um, these I got from Forever 21. They're like those paper bag shorts. They're honestly super wrinkly, but it's okay. So I just talked to everyone and I think we're gonna go on the golf cart and just drive around and see like what restaurants are open. I think Chandler said that they're only open for like takeout or sitting on the patio. But since we are going out, I thought this would be a perfect time to unbox a Teddy Blake bag. Not sure if y'all watched my Father's Day vlog, but I talked about this Teddy Blake bag in that one and I'm currently using it. But since my outfit is more like neutral, I wanted to open up this one that I got. I got two from them and oh my God, okay. Here's the bag reveal. I love these like very structured, I don't want to call them tote bags because I feel like totes are like this big, but this is beautiful. It is Italian leather. I think I forgot to mention that in my other video and I feel like that's so cool because one time I did go to Italy and got a bag and I like cherished that bag, but literally that exact summer, I think like one of the buttons popped off. So I still need to get that fixed. I have like everything in a plastic bag because I'm like cherishing it because it's like, hello. Hello. <laughs> Ryan came to join us in the unboxing, but anyways, yeah, I was cherishing that bag forever because it was just real Italian leather. I'm personally more of a big bag girl, so I definitely see myself using this one a little bit more than this one just because I feel like I take whatever I possibly can, so that whether that's like my vlogging camera, um, my big camera, sometimes I take my big camera and my vlogging camera, so I need space to fit it all. The other great thing about these bags are that they are literally like the same quality as designer bags or what you would see at Macy's or Dillard's or something, but they're just so much cheaper, like thousands of dollars cheaper. So I definitely recommend going to the site, checking them out. I will have a link in the description box. But if you guys are wondering, this is the Kate Stampato 12 inch bag. And then this one is the Sophia Duo leather nine inch bag. This is what my bag looks like with the outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my vlogging camera, chapstick, wallet, everything like that in this bag and we're gonna head out. Going on the golf cart ride.
morning y'all happy saturday it is probably like 11 a.m i'm pretty sure i woke up at like 10. ryan literally had to come in the room and wake me up um because like the curtains were like down and i guess they were like our blackout curtains i could have slept like all day if no one woke me up and i didn't have an alarm on fun fact about me is that i can literally sleep anywhere at any time like in the car on the plane last night i literally fell asleep on the couch i swear at like 9 p.m um while everyone was like talking around me it's just the weirdest thing i don't know why they told me last night that i should probably get checked out for that which honestly i should but um yeah i need to make a doctor's appointment the weather today is not super sunny and it's not super warm but i still want to like take advantage of it not raining so i'm in my swimsuit and um, i think ryan's gonna go put on his swim's trunks and we might take a walk on the beach or something but miss jill made us some french toast this morning which was really good and then i was stupid and like cut it with a fork and like it got all over my pants i have been posting a lot on my instagram stories and y'all have been engaging with them which makes me so happy because like it makes me want to post more on my stories but also like when i'm back home i don't really have that much to post but if you guys aren't following me on my instagram already go ahead and follow me i'll have a little pop-up thing right here it's so underscore gnarly without the g i've also been getting some questions about like the swimsuits i'm wearing and they're all from cup she i think um I don't know if the video will be out by the time you see this one, but I will be doing a try and haul with them because they sent me a bunch of swimsuits and they're really affordable, like super freaking affordable. And they are great for like big boob people because you know, they're holding me in and everything and I'm not like worried about it. I tried Zaffle and it just like, as much as I wanted it to work out because they were super cute, it just did not hold up my boobs. So I'm really excited that I found like a swimsuit brand that isn't breaking the bank. So I will link this one down below and my green one from yesterday. Both of them are the high-waisted bikini styles. So I'm really into these lately. I am determined to find me a sand dollar. So we'll see if that happens. play some cornhole get a little warmed up for the pool and I think it's like noon right now right we kind of started the day late but we want to take advantage of the sunny day because I think the week is supposed to be storming so sad <laughs> 